Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on the structure analysis. This course is developed by JNTU, Kakinada and Apsha. Let me introduce myself. Myself, Dr. G. Madri, working as Associate Professor in Department of Civil Engineering, Gayatri Vijayapashit College of Engineering, Autonomous. So coming to the introduction of the structure analysis. So in civil engineering, a structure is nothing but a system which is of interconnected with the members used to support external loads. So here in the structure analysis, it is nothing but a prediction of the response of the structures to specified arbitrary external loads. It is going to establish a relationship between a structural members external load and the corresponding developed internal stresses and displacements that occur within the member when they are in service. It is necessary to ensure that structural members satisfy the safety and the serviceable requirements of the local building code and specifications of the area where the structure is going to be located. Now in the next slide, you can see that these are the different types of civil engineering structures that are going to include bridges, buildings, arches, cable state bridges, towers, etc. Now coming to the syllabus of the structure analysis course, it consists of five units and we are going to see in detail each unit what the contents are going to be covered. So coming to unit one, unit one is related to the proper cantilever and fixed beams and in proper cantilever, you can see, uh, you can um, learn the degree of static and kinematic indeterminacy of different beams, frames, as well as trusses. And then you're going to analyze this proper cantilever beams. And finally, you're going to find the deflection of these beams. And then you're going to draw shear force, bending moment, and elastic curve. Now coming to the next segment, that is a fixed beams. So in the fixed beams, you are going to analyze these fixed beams with different loading conditions like UDL, UVL, center point load, eccentric point load, number of loads and combination of the loads. And finally, you're going to determine uh, deflection of the fixed beams that are going to include the effect of sinking of the support as well as the effect of rotation of a support. So, and finally, you're going to draw the shear force, bending moment diagrams and elastic curve. So this is all about unit one. Now coming to unit two, here you are going to analyze continuous beams and portal frames by using a slope deflection method and moment distribution method. In slope deflection method, you are going to learn how you are going to derive a slope deflection equation and the application of this equation to continuous beams with and without settlements. And uh, then you're going to analyze a single bay, single story portal frames without having any sway. And finally, you're going to draw shear force, bending moment diagram and elastic curve. And next segment is moment distribution method. In the moment distribution method also, you're going to analyze the continuous beams with and without settlement of the supports. And then you're going to analyze a single bay, single story portal frames without any sway condition. And finally, you're going to draw the shear force, penny moment, and elastic curves. This all deals about the unit two. Next, coming to unit three, here you're going to analyze the pin jointed plane frames. And in this, uh, there are two segments. First segment is determination of a forces in a members of plane pin jointed perfect truss. And in the second segment, you're going to analyze various types of a cantilever and simply supported trusses. And these both segments you are going to determine or analyze by using three different methods. One is method of joints, next is method of sections, and finally it is method of tension coefficients. This is all about uh, unit three. Coming to unit four, here uh, this deals about the concept of a uh, moving loads and influence line diagrams that are imparted for the assessment of a maximum shear force and bending moment at a section when loads were of varying spans uh, with rolling load conditions. So here different loading conditions are there. One is a single concentrated load, next UDL longer than span, next UDL shorter than span, then two point loads with a fixed distance between them, and then several point loads. And finally, you're going to uh, draw influence lines for a forces in the members of Pratt and Warren trusses also. This is all about unit four. 
and coming to unit 5 so here you are going to learn matrix method of analysis so in this matrix methods we are going to learn flexibility and stiffness matrix method and uh, these two methods you are going to analyze by using a system approach and up to 3 degree of freedom in indeterminacy only you are going to uh, find out and after that, you're going to analyze the continuous beams, including the settlement of supports by using both flexibility and stiffness methods. And then you're going to analyze the pin jointed uh, determinate plane frames by using the flexibility and stiffness methods. And then you're going to analyze a single base, single story portal frames using only stiffness method. Finally, you're going to learn how to draw a shear force, bending moment diagrams and elastic curve. So these all are the five units that we are going to uh, learn in this structure analysis uh, course. And these are some of the textbooks and references. And these are some of the hyperlinks for the content and the image sources. Thank you.